Hi guys, my name is Sam and welcome to Inglogic, where I help advanced English learners and teachers improve their English by analysing its logical and mathematical patterns. Today we're going to do an advanced vocabulary lesson, but before we go any further, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell down below. And now, let's get started. The first very common English word whose deep meanings we're going to explore is water. We have drinking water, which can be drunk safely. Tap water, which comes out of the tap from the sink in your house. We have bottled water, which you can buy in bottles. Fresh water contains no salt, whereas salt water does. Lukewarm water is water that is only slightly warm. We can also use the word tepid, but it's very sophisticated and not very common. And now let's crack on with idioms. If I say that we had our differences in the past, but now it's all water under the bridge, it means that we had personal problems with each other in the past, but now everything is forgotten and forgiven and we're friends. If I say that someone uses something or spends money like water, it's a disapproving way of saying that they spend a lot of money when they should be saving it instead. If the criticism that I'm getting is like water off a duck's back, it means that it has no relevance to me and it doesn't affect me in any way, shape or form. If liquid comes out of a woman's body just before her baby is born, in England we say that her waters break and in America they say that her water breaks. She took to dancing like a duck to water means that she learned this skill of dancing very easily and very naturally. If in yesterday's meeting you felt like a fish out of water because you were the only person who wasn't a lawyer, it means that you felt uncomfortable and inadequate because you felt like you didn't belong to the situation or to the group of people that you were with, because in this case you were the only person who was not a lawyer. If his alibi, excuse, account of facts, doesn't hold water, it means that it seems extremely unlikely and unreasonable, so he's probably lying to you. Still waters run deep is a saying that we have that means that quiet people may have a lot of deep knowledge, thoughts, ideas and emotions, even though they don't show them publicly because they're quiet. To test the waters, or water, means to test people's reaction to a new plan, a new idea, before you decide to use it. To water is also a verb. It means to give water to plants and soil. And asking your neighbours to water your plants while you're away is a very common thing to do. Saying that an animal, and informally a person as well, is fed and watered, it means that you've given them food and water and they're okay. My eyes are watering because of my allergies and chopping onions makes my eyes water means that water is coming out of my eyes. If food makes your mouth water, it means that it looks and smells delicious and you really want to eat it now. And it's related to the fact that your body responds to this stimulus by producing saliva. Mouth-watering food is food that causes your body to react that way. A watered-down version of events is an account of events that has been made less strong and forceful so it can be more politically correct. And it's used disapprovingly because it implies that someone hasn't disclosed all the technical and true details of a situation. If you water down your coffee, it means that you make it less strong by adding water to it. Thanks to coronavirus, the next very popular word that we're going to analyse is test. A test is a set of questions or exercises used to assess your ability or knowledge of something. You can have a test on equations or a maths test in general. Careful, you take, do or sit, in British English, a test, but you do not make a test. A test is also a medical examination and you can have or undergo any sort of test. A blood test is when doctors draw blood from you. You can have a pregnancy test, a breath test for alcohol, or a coronavirus test, after which you get your test results. The verbs that we use when doctors do medical tests are run, carry out, perform, and more formally, conduct a test. 
living together put their relationship to the test is a very common thing to say, and it means that the fact that they started living together put their relationship under a lot of stress and pressure where its strength was tested. His music will stand the test of time means that his music will still be relevant, popular, and important in the future. To test is also a verb. If they test you for COVID, it means that doctors want to find out if you have COVID. And if you test negative or positive for COVID, it means that your test results are negative or positive. If tomorrow we're being tested on irregular verbs, it means that tomorrow we're sitting a school test on irregular verbs. To test something on someone or something means to use a product or a substance on someone or something for a short amount of time to see how they react. A very common thing for beauty products, for example, to state nowadays is that these products have not been tested on animals. A tried and tested method is a method that has been used a lot in the past and it's always been successful, so it's very reliable. We also have the adjective testy, which means that you are very easily annoyed and irritable. It's now time to talk about technology, specifically Bluetooth. We will analyse the separate words blue and tooth and we will see how many meanings they have. We will start easy and go with blue, which, apart from the colour, also means that you are feeling depressed and sad. I told him I was innocent until I was blue in the face means that I kept repeating to him that I was innocent, but he just wouldn't believe me. If you're blue with cold, it means that you look extremely cold. And if you go blue, it means that your skin turns blue because you're either very cold or you can't breathe properly. Blue blood is an expression used to describe people that belong to a royal, noble and rich family. He was black and blue after the match, and they were beaten black and blue by the muggers, means they were very badly injured and therefore bruised. In a company, blue collars are those people that do manual and physical labour, rather than working in an office. Once in a blue moon is a fairly famous idiom that means very rarely. When you go to a restaurant, you can decide how cooked you want your meat to be. You can have it well done, which means very much cooked, medium, rare, which means not cooked a lot, and also blue, which means less cooked than rare. If I say that their divorce was a bolt from the blue, it means that it was a sudden piece of information that nobody was expecting or prepared for. Somebody appeared out of the blue and attacked me means that somebody appeared unexpectedly and suddenly and they attacked me. Boys in blue is an informal British expression for the police and the Monday blues are a feeling of sadness that you experience on Mondays because they are the first day back at work after the weekend. It's now time to talk about the second part of Bluetooth, and I hope you're sitting down for this, because the word tooth and its plural teeth have more meanings than you could possibly ever imagine, so I hope you're ready. You can brush your teeth, or in British you can actually clean your teeth, although it's not an expression that we use very often. Baby teeth, or milk teeth, are the first set of teeth that children have that are destined to fall out. Wisdom teeth are the four teeth that adults get at the back of their mouths, and that some people need to have surgically removed, extracted, taken out, or simply out. If you grind your teeth, you rub your upper and lower teeth against each other, especially at night. If your teeth chatter, it means that they hit together very quickly because you're cold, like this. If a baby is teething or cutting a tooth, it means that their first set of teeth is coming out. A canine tooth, or simply canine, is one of the four pointy teeth in front of your mouth. We also call it eye tooth, and if I say that someone would give their eye tooth for something, it means that they want that something so much that they're willing to pull out their eye tooth and trade it for that something. Fake teeth, or more technically dentures, are sets of artificial teeth. A loose tooth is a tooth that is shaking and that you're about to lose. And now get ready for a lot of idioms with teeth. 
If an idea or law has teeth, it means that it has enough power or support from the authorities to be enforced and respected. So, if I say that this is a good idea but it doesn't have teeth, it means that nobody will respect it and we will not be able to enforce it. If you have a sweet tooth, it means that you like sugar and all kinds of sweets. To pick your teeth means to remove dirt or food from your teeth with your fingers or with a toothpick. When you watch interviews with actors, they often say that they look for roles they can sink their teeth into, and that means that they want roles that are very deep and challenging that they can tackle with determination, passion, and enthusiasm. I cut my journalistic teeth on the local newspaper in my town before being hired by the Guardian means that I got my first experience in the field of journalism in my local newspaper. To do something by the skin of your teeth means to just about manage to succeed, and that would be the case if you did an exam and the threshold were 60 and you scored 61. With only two points less, you would have failed. If you lie through your teeth, it means that you're telling an obvious and blatant lie. While I'm eating, if I accidentally hit the plate with my cutlery, that creates a sound that sets my teeth on edge, meaning that this sound, for me, is extremely unpleasant. To be armed to the teeth means to be carrying a lot of weapons on you, and if your boss gives a promotion to the new guy that just arrived two months ago, that's a big kick in the teeth, meaning that it's a very unpleasant and upsetting situation because you wanted to get the promotion instead. The new law was approved in the teeth of the millions of people against it. It means that it was approved despite the opposition of all of these people. If I'm exhausted but I need to grit my teeth for two more weeks before my holiday, it means that I am very tired but I just need to resist two more weeks, so I have to use all my determination and energy to get through this difficult situation. And if she apologised to her colleague through gritted teeth, it means that she was very angry about having to apologise and possibly she didn't even think that she had anything to apologise for, but she did it anyway to preserve a friendly environment at work. Okay, I'm sure that after all this talk about teeth, you're ready to go. But before you do, since the summer is fast approaching here in England, although the sun is not really out at the moment, I hope that it is in your country, wherever you are. So we will look at a couple of idioms and expressions with the word sun. If the sun is out, it means that it's shining, and if you catch the sun, it means that you lie in the sun and your skin turns brown, or, if you're not careful, burnt, from which we get sunburned. If you can buy this t-shirt in every colour under the sun, it means that this shop has any kind of colour that you could possibly think about. To make hay while the sun shines means to do something now, because you don't know if you will have the chance to do it later. The activity of lying in the sun so your skin turns brown is to sunbathe, but careful, the word sunbath doesn't exist, so you can't say I had a sunbath, you can only say I sunbathed. Tan is the nice brown colour that your skin has after you've lain in the sun. And if you say that your skin doesn't tan easily, it means that it doesn't become brown very easily. And what a lot of people do in the summer is ride a bike. And I have a fun fact about a word related to bikes, which is spoke. Spoke can be the past form of the verb speak, spoke, spoken, but as a noun is one of the thin metal pieces in a wheel that connect the outer ring of the wheel to the centre. And we can use this as an idiom. To put a spoke in someone's wheel means to make it difficult for someone to achieve something that they planned. Okay, that's really it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel down below. And do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or observations about the words that we've explored today together. And in the meantime, I will see you next Tuesday with my next video.